Bahrain. I've got a four hour wait now till my second seven hour flight from here to straight to Bangkok. So the food on the flight was pretty decent. Um, pay your life hack, right? If you order a dietary requirement meal, it always comes first. I'd almost like finish my meal before the people next to me had even got theirs. So I'm just chilling in this airport for a bit till we're on the way to Thailand. And also when I get to Bangkok, I've actually booked a flight straight from Bangkok to Phuket. Because I'm going to Bangkok anyway, um, before I start the teaching job, um, I just thought I'd go straight down to the south of Thailand first, because I'm going to Bangkok afterwards anyway. So I'm gonna explore it properly on the way back after my two weeks traveling. So yeah, we're well on the way to Thailand. <laughs> long old maybe about 24 hours of traveling i'm finally here i definitely needed to freshen up a bit 28 degrees and the sun's already set in phuket obviously first stop was for a pad thai didn't disappoint and i got like a mango smoothie as well and it came to i can't remember how much thai baht but it worked out about four pounds 18. it was a slightly touristy place as well i think it'll be even cheaper in other places so i'm gonna be good this trip so i'm really excited i'm just walking along bang Tao beach right now and tomorrow morning I've actually got, I've booked like a long boat tour, day trip, so I think that's going to be really fun. It's going to like fully immerse me into the Thai lifestyle around here, around Phuket. And then I'm actually traveling down further to the south of Phuket after two nights here. So yeah, I'm excited. Here we are. So I'm trying this Thai dessert, sticky rice, coconut milk and mango. And I found this little restaurant that's on the beach. How cute. <laughs> Today's breakfast on James Bond Island. Day one in Thailand. <laughs> Sipping coconut on the beach. I think this is what I was hoping for. So when I was booking this trip a few weeks ago, I booked this um, tour today, which is a James Bond Island tour, which is where we are now. We'll get to go to the Monkey Temple as well. A few other stops as well. So like a whole day trip tour. And I was like, do you know what? On the first day, I'm obviously going to be a bit jet lagged. And, you know, just adjusting, which I definitely am. But I was like, no, I want to immerse myself straight away and be busy doing cool stuff straight away. So here I am, first day in Thailand. And I'm pretty happy sipping on my coconut on the beach. <laughs> So the signs on this island saying, um, warning you about monkeys, well, warning you not to eat them. So I'm keeping my eye out, but there'll definitely be some at the temple that we're visiting later on. So I can't wait to see them. The tour guide gave me this to take photos with. <laughs> Cute. Wow.
some shit and monkeys just about to go to monkey temple this is somewhere i've dreamed of going so long i can't wait monkeys i'm coming for you over there, you can find many monkeys. What do you want instead? <laughs> <laughs> take it! Oh, this big boy is going to take it. Hey, hey. Hello, whoa! Shh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some more. Come on. Wow. I've just finished my little tour day to the James Bond Island. And it was honestly great. I loved um, going on this little trip. It's literally my first full day and I've done so much. I've seen monkeys, I've been on a kayak, I've swam in the sea. Just treated myself to my first coffee over here. And then I'm just going to this little viewpoint because it's still a few hours of daylight. So also at the, the little day trip, one of the stops was this like floating village that had been built on these wooden stilts, which is so cool. And um, like this was people's homes, like people just fully lived there. We also had lunch there. And the woman that was doing the tour was so kind. Like all the time she'd be like frantically waving. She was just so lovely. And like hugged me goodbye at the end. It was so cute. So I just got a bolt to this little viewpoint and just figured out, right? I bought an espresso from this like tiny little coffee shop on the side of the road. And it was 15 Thai baht, which worked out. 34 pence so wow it really is cheap over here nine more weeks to go i can't believe i'm in thailand for this long i'm really adjusting already yesterday i wasn't feeling 100 percent. maybe it was a combination of um like jet lag and you know being in a, ra a country i've never been to before on my own in northern phuket so i don't think it's the most touristy area so you know i was just kind of sussing all out figuring out if i feel safe or not but I'm, I'm, I'm getting there today. And I had a decent night's sleep. I did wake up in the middle of the night for a good few hours because of the jet lag. But um, I managed to have eight hours sleep, which is a lot better than just sleeping on a plane for seven hours. Um, so yeah. Bag of monkey food I bought earlier was basically some corn on the cob, a couple of bananas, some nuts, and a boiled egg, one boiled egg. So right at the start, when I bought this monkey food, the woman was like, hide the boiled egg because the mon monkeys just love it and they'll grab it out of your hands. So I did hide it in my pocket and I've still got it because I forgot about it. So hopefully I can find a monkey to give this to in the next few days otherwise it's going to be stinking out my bag. But this, the tour I went on, honestly I really would recommend. So I'll find a link and I'll put it in the description because it was, it was really great. Like Thank you. <laughs> 
because we're coming to the end of monsoon season. That um, stir-fried veg was so spicy. My lips are like burning right now. I feel like I've got a um, lip plumper on and it's like tingling. <laughs> it's really good though. So I got a little smoothie. How good does this look? It smells so fresh as well. It's like mango and banana. Yummy. And now I'm gonna walk to Monkey Hill Point. Go find some monkey boys again. I don't know how you're supposed to, supposed to cross the roads out here. I don't know when pedestrians ever have right away. Well, this is funny. I'm like 40 minutes away from Monkey Hill, but I can literally see a herd of monkeys. Just bought some monkey food. <laughs> Here we come again. Look, can you see them? Oh my god, you know I've got food. <laughs> Get off. egg to give out. Who wants this egg? Do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, not bad. <laughs> Try it. Oh. Okay then. Hello. Hello little one. Okay, I'm kind of scared to give them more food, right? So I tried to get away from like the big group of monkeys and then I like made sure I was away from most of them. There was like one walking behind me and then as soon as I rustled my bag, it like ran up to me and jumped up to me to try and snatch the whole bag, but like kind of aggressive. So I just emptied the whole bag for this monkey and then ran away, oh God. I feel like this is what happens when they get used to humans, but maybe I'll just not take food around them anymore. But at least the monkeys yesterday weren't aggressive. stumbled across this vegetarian vegan street food festival. Oh my god, in my element. Let's see what else I should try. I kind of fancy it all to be honest. So I've been buzzing to stumble on this little veggie fest food festival and someone told me it's also on tomorrow and um, I'm just on the last bus back to where I'm staying and it's really funny <laughs> the bus um, is literally driving through the middle of like this food market that goes on for ages and everyone has to like stand to the side <laughs> Sorry. But I'll be back tomorrow for some more food. I'll try some new bits and bobs. I can't believe I found this. What are the chances? After today, I was kind of struggling at lunchtime. At the restaurant I was at, I was kind of struggling to find vegan food, yeah? <laughs> but now I've found this, I'm so happy. Just had an hour long massage, full body, a Thai massage, and it was 300 Thai baht, which is six pounds 77. You can never get a massage that cheap. It was so, I feel go, so relaxed now. They even gave you a little tray with some water and a tea and some biscuits to have afterwards. Oh my God, this is dangerous, but so good. <laughs> Look how random. Some guy in the street just had this lima. How much? Hello. So today I'm gonna go see the big Buddha. Maybe go to the beach. I don't know. 
And I'm definitely going back to the veggie street food market because someone said it's on today as well. So maybe I'll try some different foods. just got up to the area where the big brother is. I didn't realize there's so much going on around here. Like there's loads of elephant sanctuaries, I don't know what you'd call them. I can see some elephants like on the side of the road at these sanctuaries. So I'll probably see them there, but I don't think I want to pay for things like that because I feel like there's places that say they're ethical and they're not. So I don't know, don't know how I'll trust it. How cool is it that they just sell these everywhere and they chop the top off, put a straw in and it's like icy cold coconut water. So tasty! 40 baht, so like less than a pound. So good! I'm just going to walk down from the big Buddha and um, see what's down on the way. I saw some areas where there was elephants so. and also a vegetarian cafe with Thai food so maybe it'll be time for lunch back time. And it's gorgeous, there's gorgeous views from up here as well. I can't believe this is my life right now. <laughs> So hard to walk it around. It's like 29 degrees and I think I'm about 10 minutes off from this veggie Thai restaurant. So um, I'm gonna head there, see what I can see and probably from there, cause this hill is so far. Like I've probably been walking about half an hour already. I'm still really high up. Um, so on the Grab app where you get taxis around here, um, you can get like a moped taxi, which is like half the price. And I haven't been on a moped yet and I do want to go on one. So I think I'll get a moped taxi on the way down. I have found the Bolt app um, a lot cheaper out here. Like some rides I've got were like three pounds for like 25 minute journey. It's been crazy. So it's kind of like, why not? I love how all these cafes on this walk down claim to have the best view. Isn't that subjective? But it is a pretty stunning view. <laughs> it's a nice selling point my food and this view this is stunning okay we survived a motorbike ride but my hair is wild um, it wasn't too bad actually <laughs> and it was like half down the hill as well and then onto this Spain road and this crazy roundabout. The traffic is pretty crazy. I'm glad I've done it once now. <laughs>
just managed to get this watermelon smoothie in time before hopping on the bus and driving down the market. I'm gonna go to Patong, like another area. It's more like the nightlife area in Thailand. Because it's my last night here in Phuket, so cool to check out the area. And yeah, I'm glad I've got some bits from the market again. But to be honest, I don't need to stay much longer. I'm just gonna keep eating. And I've got something savory, I've got something sweet, and now I've got a fruity juice, so I'm pretty sorted. But how good is this? When I first got on one of these buses um, yesterday, I didn't know what to do. Like, we are just supposed to just jump on the back and then sit on for a while until the guy comes around. There's two people in the front. One of the guys comes around and just collects money from everyone. And it's like 40 baht a ride. And I've been going from like all the way from one side to get to the other. And that's like less than a pound. And it's a cool experience as well, so. Reminded me of Blackpool. <laughs> the place where I first started a few nights ago by Bang Tao Beach. There was really nothing going on compared to all this. So I guess this is where all the touristy stuff is. I mean, it's cool to visit at least. Maybe it was good that I stayed in a different area. The final of the month. Day boxing my day. This is where it's all happening. Somehow I missed the memo in the place, place that I first booked. I mean, it's interesting to have an all round experience. However, the vibes here are making me want to drink. <laughs> 